Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rock and Roll English where we have a very special podcast because the podcast you are about to listen to today is a podcast I think you will be hearing a lot of in the near future because you know I love stories of course and my new thing let's say is helping you understand native English speakers especially for people living in the UK or people that just simply want to watch films without subtitles so what I have decided to do is record some jungle stories so when I say that it's just me telling a story with zero preparation obviously I have the story in my head but I don't prepare anything because sometimes when I tell stories on the podcast I try to prepare them for impact but this is just total spontaneous speech also I am speaking in the jungle way in a really relaxed way in the same way that I would speak to my friends in the pub because when I talk to you like I'm talking to you now obviously I want to be clear and this is the same if you listen to any YouTuber or podcaster or even someone like Barack Obama they want to be clear but I'm sure you know when you talk to someone in the pub in the supermarket something like that it's much more difficult to understand why because they are relaxed they are not trying to be clear so This story is me just talking in 100% natural Martin mode, which is also jungle talk. So we are going to listen to the story and then we are going to listen to a few little bits of the story because I want you to understand every word. I think you will understand the story. I'm telling you now it's not a great story, but it's a story. But then we will look at just a couple of examples to see if you manage to understand every word. So here is the story. Enjoy. I lived in another country for 12 years and lots of people ask me, like, was it difficult adapting to a new culture? I always say, yeah, it was obviously a bit difficult at the beginning, but then you just kind of get used to it. And what I used to do was go to an English pub every weekend and watch English football to make me feel at home. Okay, so... As I said, it is definitely not a story that's going to win an award, is it, for the best story ever? I basically said I lived abroad for 12 years. People always ask me if it's difficult and I said you kind of just get used to it. And what I used to do, especially at the beginning, was go to an English pub and watch English football to make me feel at home. And that is a true story. But did you understand this part? I want you to tell me what I say in this part. Let's listen to it three times so you can have a guess. I would say yeah, was I would say yeah, was I would say yeah, was Now, what did I say there? So, in my new course Jungle Listening, which will be released tomorrow, we go into a lot more detail to decode these things, but The important thing is not actually understanding immediately. The important thing is the learning that happens after you know what I said. So, I will tell you immediately in that mini clip I say I always say yeah it was. Now, that would be the greenhouse version which maybe you were looking for. But obviously, said really quickly in jungle mode, that becomes. I would say yeah, was. I would say yeah, was. I would say yeah, was. And maybe you had difficulty to understand it. So what we're going to do now is slow it down and listen to it slowly, and then we will move it to full speed. I would say yeah, was. I would say yeah, was. I would say yeah, was. So notice how. I always has merged into one word of like us and then yeah it was has also basically merged into one word which is just kind of yes 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 so let's listen again on slow and we'll slowly bring it back to full speed 
So hopefully that sounds much clearer to you now. So let's listen to the next one. What do I say here? Again, let's listen three times. And you just, and you just, and you just. So what did I say? There I said, then you just, because I was going to say, get used to it. Then you just. But obviously in jungle speech, it sounds a lot different. It sounds like this. And you just, and you just, and you just. So now let's slow it down again and see what's happening. Any just, any just, any just. So you may have noticed there that the word then has now just become nen. Any, any, any. And the word just loses the t. So we say nen you just, nen you just, nen you just. Any just, any just, any just. So again, let's listen from slow to fast. Any just, any just, any just, any just, any just, any just. And there we go. So hopefully, again, that now sounds clearer to you. What we are doing is familiarizing your ears with fast natural speech. So when you hear this on the streets now, it will sound clearer to you. So now let's do the last one. This one is a little bit easier, but it also has an interesting feature of speech. So let's have a listen. To make me feel, to make me feel, to make me feel. So in this one, I obviously said to make me feel. What I just said there is the greenhouse version where all the words are separate. But in the jungle, it doesn't sound like that. It sounds like this. To make me feel. To make me feel. To make me feel. Now again, let's slow it down to see what's happening. To make me feel. To make me feel. To make me feel. So we notice the word to is just t, and then the word make doesn't have the k at the end. It's just may me. To make me feel. So we are losing a sound from the word make. So again, let's listen to it slow and then move it up to full speed. To make me feel. To make me feel. To make me feel, to make me feel, to make me feel, to make me feel. So again, hopefully that now sounds clearer to you. So what we have done in this podcast is a fraction, a very, very small percentage of what we do in my new online course, Jungle Listening, which is designed to help you understand native speakers of English. And if you live in the UK, this course is 100% for you. The course will be released tomorrow. Yes, that is true. And there is an incredible, incredible, well, two incredible bonuses for the first 100 people that buy the course. So if you stop this podcast right now, you will find a link. You can put your name there. And in this way, you will be one of the first people to hear about the course because you will be on the waiting list. So if you have learned something from this very short episode, just imagine what you can learn on that online course, Jungle Listening. So as I said, press pause, click the link and put your name in the form, which takes about 10 seconds to complete. I will speak to you all again tomorrow for the very big day. But in the meantime, just keep on rocking, baby.